and welcome to a brand new episode of the Daily Dish Show. On today's episode, we're hanging out with one of my faves, actually, Pretty Mike. How are you doing, Pretty Mike? How you doing, darling? How are you feeling? Ah, uh, chilled. Yeah, chilled, Abby. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to talk about you and then a bunch of other stuff that you do. But then, first of all, my first question is about what you think personal branding is to you. Like, if you had to define, like, what a personal brand is, what would you say it is? Oh, for me, it's about your personality. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about what you want to give out. Mm -hmm. It's about what the about the impression you want people, companies, or corporate bodies to mm -hmm. think of you. Mm -hmm. um, I think everybody should have uh, uh, interest in their own personal branding. One hundred percent, I agree. Yeah. So, if you had to describe your personal brand in like three words or like three sentences, what would you say? Unique. Mm -hmm. Different. Okay. And. Uh, Creative. Creative. <laughs> so I really want to know, like, do you have, like, a thought process? Or do you just, like, how does it, how, how do you come up with the ideas, like, we generally see on social media, obviously. That's what we're talking about, yeah. Mm. Uh, some of them have been inspired mm -hmm. by sometimes the things happen around our surroundings. Mm -hmm. Some of it are um, a bit spiritual. Okay. Uh, some of it, um, sometimes I'm trying to sell a message. Okay. So it depends. It depends on my mood. It depends on how it hits me. Mm -hmm. it's, um, it's a total different package. It's something that cannot be necessarily explained in one sentence. In one sentence. Right. So it, it could be for multiple reasons. I get right. that. Right. So um, speaking, of, speaking on that, there's, there's been people that have called you misogynistic because of... Like, you know, women have been used in your delivering of a message. What right. would you say to people like that? Well, everybody's going to have a misconception about life mm -hmm. or what they think they see or what I portray. Mm -hmm. um, fair enough. I think women are the finest things in life. And mm -hmm. why not use them to express okay. basically um, everything that needs to be spoken about or, or, or said to the public. Okay. All yeah. right. Fair enough. So I want to know, speaking on personal brand, if you were to talk about how um, it could positively like affect you, like the pros of having a strong personal brand, what right. would you say they are? Pros? Yes. The pros. Um, number one is more money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the income. Uh, the outcome is income, right? Right, right. <laughs> um, but I think... Uh, in general, first of all, you feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. There's this vibe that you get. People are always talking about giving out vibe. But mm -hmm. I always believe if you don't have a good vibe mm -hmm. or you don't feel it, mm -hmm. then you can't give it off. Yeah. Uh, so that is important. Mm -hmm. And uh, more so, the way people perceive you, mm -hmm. it's also very important. Mm -hmm. It's relative. Yeah. Meaning, uh, if you're mind and personality is not strong enough that anybody can just sway your left right yeah and i get that right. i get that right. so does it get difficult sometimes for you because i feel like sometimes like you said some things are just banter some things are a message right does it bother you how opinionated and like heated people get when they talk about like the things that you do not really okay i've built a thick skin over the years okay. to just first know how to handle it mm -hmm. and then know how to let it just pass over yeah. like the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you see on social media. I'm sure sometimes if I ask you about them, you probably will have forgotten the oh, for drama sure. around it. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's, it's, it's like porn. Okay. You can't, it. you can't, if, if a porn star was to walk in here now, mm -hmm. you probably will not remember what, that was that person from there that yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like it is hard. okay fair enough but I feel like maybe that 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 is possible Sha, but definitely there are people in the room that will recognize the person for sure well, I 100% I believe that I didn't feel like a punch that like if uh, in a room full of adults well like I, like I said if one was to walk in here right yeah, now yeah. you will remember Yes. It might be, I've seen a face somewhere, but I can't really... Can't re really recall where right, you saw their face right. from. Okay, fair enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to go on a very short break. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what Pretty Mike is getting up to for the rest of the year. See you soon. Mm -hmm. 
Welcome back to the show. We're still hanging out with Pretty Mike. And I was wondering, you know, what's so funny is, I don't know if you remember, but like, obviously you remember, but when you used to do, when you used to do Q, Q Lounge? Right, Q Club. Q Club. Right. In Keja, I've definitely done my, I did my birthday day when I was in uni, for sure. 100%. Nice, nice. So like, it's like you've, and I, I'm, I feel like uni for me was like, that birthday was probably at least 12 years ago. Right, right, right. So you've transitioned through so many generations right, of right, the right. Nigerian nightlife space. Definitely. How have you managed to still like, you know, to be honest, stay relevant? Right, right, right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, relevance is a big thing in whatever business you're doing. Mm-hmm. Once you've made up your mind you're going to be in this business, you have to figure out how to revamp yourself, mm-hmm. recreate yourself, and keep yourself relevant, mm-hmm. and still be able to cash out. Yes, from that, out is from that industry. Essential. Yes, right. <laughs> so um, I like to do my homework. I'm mm-hmm. a thinker. Definitely, definitely, I like to sit in my corner and try to figure out the next strategy. Mm-hmm. The generation is changing. People are changing. You have to understand how to keep up with them. Mm-hmm. Who are those that party? Who yeah. are those that in the scene? Mm-hmm. You know, I, I one time I was in ShopRite and a little kid just walked up to me, like maybe you think she was like three years old, just you know what like ShopRite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then hey, well, I just played with her and then her mom came and grabbed her and she had like another six years old. Mm-hmm. And just went around the block and I was still shopping, buying stuff. Then we kinda of like jammed again and the kid just came and, you know, I'm like, Hey, nice kid. And then at, I think at that point she decided to say something to me, like, so you can't remember me. I'm like no. No. <laughs> She's like, 10 years ago, you and my daddy, you know, like. <laughs> and I'm no like, way. You know, <laughs> so I've had a whole bunch of people move on to mm-hmm. doing other things. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be inviting that mommy to the club. Of now. course, not. Yeah. You know, so it's a thing of you have to keep up, you have to understand your market mm-hmm. and then an environment. Okay. And then we'll take it from there. Okay, all right, fair enough. So let's ask you where you're getting up to. You know, it's the half point of the year. Right. And you know you throw some good parties. Right, you right, know? Right, 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 right. December is right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. I think, I have, I, think, I, I, think I have two more parties mm-hmm. uh, coming soon. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, the Lakers party. Mm-hmm. Or one of the probably craziest. For me, it's an adventure mm-hmm. whenever I throw the Lakers party. Mm-hmm. I have that. I'm also affiliated with several clubs and lounge. Mm-hmm. Uh, new ones opening up. Okay. I think we have about four new clubs opening oh, up. Oh, this December. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be crazy. Yeah. The thing, the thing that interests me about uh, December in Lagos mm-hmm. and, and businesses opening is, I can tell you there are about two clubs that opened last year, December. That was a total flop. Mm-hmm. meaning they have not done their homework and they were not successful yeah. Yeah. in respect of how many millions they put into the business. Mm-hmm. So that's going to keep happening. People yeah. are going to invest and not do the homework to be mm-hmm. able to bring the crowd to the establishment. And at the end of the day, it's bad business. Of course, of course. So am I looking forward to that? I mean, it's probably going to happen. Yeah. I mean, Lagos, <laughs> Lagos is a funny market. Yeah, it is. If you're not giving them what they want, trust me, they'll turn their back around you. Mm-hmm. I agree. Right. I feel like Lagos is like a is like a dog eat dog dog eat dog world. It's more like a lion eat lion. Not it's, lion. It's, like, it's, like, it's something else. Oh, fair enough. Thank you so much for hanging out hanging out with us today, Prince Mike. I really Pleasure. appreciate you coming. Looking for the looking forward to the parties that you'll be doing in December. Definitely. definitely, definitely. Um, can you let the viewers know where they can find you on social media? Well, for now, my best bet will be. At my Instagram page, okay. Pretty Mike of Lagos. Okay. So that's Pretty Mike of Lagos on Instagram, right? Right. Okay. Right, right. And those of you at home, don't forget to join the conversation. You can visit our Instagram at spice TV underscore Africa. If you're looking for me, I'm Valerie.ek. Until next time, have a lovely day. See you soon. Booyah.